Hello and welcome back to course number three of my free shamanic healing lesson. In this course, you will learn various practical techniques on shamanic healing. Here are some topics that we will cover. Healing with frozen water. Have you ever heard of that? So I can talk about my experience I had personally. And I had clients who got healed. And let's get into this frozen water. So this is simple tap water. So you just use, you fill up this bottle with tap water, put it in the freezer, let it freeze. It looks like this. Unfreeze it and drink it. That's it. So through the um, freezing process, the molecules will change. And this means it goes into your healing. So it's very interesting. So I had a funny knee. I have no um, feeling in my knee. And it was a little bit awkward. And I started to drink this water for six to eight weeks. It needs a bit of time. However, I got completely healed. And I had a client who was diagnosed with arthritis. She couldn't do sports. She couldn't work. And I recommended to drink frozen tap water. And she was healed after about eight weeks. So you just drink it, uh, one liter or half a liter, whatever you feel like, and then see how it goes. This is some very interesting about frozen water. And how about healing with chicken eggs? You can heal depression with chicken eggs. You just crack the egg. I don't do it in here. You crack the egg, take the shell. The shells are good for fertilizing your garden. And then the egg goes into the water and you put the water and the egg next to your bed. And in the morning, you see how the structure of the egg has changed or not changed. Um, you can flush down the toilet the egg and do this like 10 days in a row. But it's important that you do not use the egg. Otherwise, you will get back the negative energies because this egg is taking out the negative energies. Yes, isn't that interesting? Another interesting fact is um, these days blood pressure. So to get your blood pressure into a balance, you can smell lavender. Very simple. It grows in your garden. It's almost for free. And you can also go tree hugging. So it's proven that tree hugging reduces the blood pressure level and it gets back into the balance. Another tip and trick on blood pressure is progressive muscle relaxation. And it's a very old method, and I don't know why nobody talks about it, but it helped me personally. And it's very simple. You just um, tense and relax the fists 15 times, the biceps 15 times, tense and relax. You do this on both sides, and then you do it together 15 times, and then biceps 15 times. And if you do this on a regular basis, you can balance your blood pressure. So I had like also a couple of years ago some personal issues with my nervous system and this method healed me completely. And this is also free healing. I mean, you can do it in your living room. You don't have to go anywhere. You just do your muscle relaxation. It's so simple. Healing can be so simple. And this is why I love about healing. So you can also, for example, the next topics, warts. You can get rid of warts with a banana peel. Did you know about that? And of course, chakra healing with crystals and singing bowls. And, and here I have also um, apricot seeds, has a lot of vitamins. And of course, we can do some water programming. I want to show you a little bit. I have here tap water. So this tap water here 
has no programming. What is programming? I talk to the water, I say a prayer, I program it with words, with thoughts. For example, I have here the water of abundance. And then I have here this little symbol. Here, where is it? Yeah, anyway. So I have here the symbol, the water, and I leave it here for a couple of minutes. And then you can check how the program, how the water has changed thanks to the programming. So for example, the simple tap water with absolutely no programming. You see the pendulum is not moving, it's not running a little bit. But usually it goes really fast. And then this glass here has been programmed with the symbol, with words. And let's check this out. So I put the pendulum on the water and you see really fast how the pendulum is running around in circles. See? And this is all about water programming and this is shamanic healing. So for example, you are on vacation and you don't feel so well and then you just take the water in your hands, say a prayer and just visualize that there is healing water. And it's so simple. And of course, um, shamanic healing is also healing with herbs, with plants. And here is my baby, Calicia Fragrance. This is a wonder plant. It's the plant of the future. And I have 21 recipes to share with you with this healing plant. Yes, and um, this is about it for the time being. I have, I hope you had some insight on shamanic healing. I hope you have now another perspective. What is shamanic healing? What are the tools? All the healing options. There's so many free healing options available, which I would like to share with you. So I hope you liked my video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like to know more about shamanic healing, if you say, oh, I really want to deep dive into this topic, um, you can sign up for my course. It's, um, you wish you had known this knowledge before. And my motivation is to share and teach ancient shamanic wisdom that you become as happy and independent as possible. And with that being said, I wish you a wonderful day. I would love to see you in my course on shamanic healing. It's a seven chapter course with, with about 30 minutes per lesson. And it will blow your mind what you will learn. We will also do money rituals. It's so exciting. So don't miss that course. I wish you a great day. Thanks for watching my video. With love, light and prosperity. Manuela, bye.